Hi everyone, this is Suja. Thank you so much for joining me today. And today, welcome back to, I think this is bed seven. So <laughs> I wanna make like a congratulatory video after I hit 10, because that means I've consistently done at least 10 videos, which is a good number for me. And I'm enjoying this actually, this is really nice. Um, analyzing crypto and figuring out what the next moves are is kind of fun. It's, it's like gambling, except, you know, the casino is <laughs> cryptocurrency. <laughs> The casino is actually the fiat dollar, right? Because if you look at the fiat dollar, it's dying. And so the real house that loses is the fiat. Even if you lose money in the stock, crypto markets, you still gain because at least you still have crypto, right? Unless you leverage and you don't know how to leverage, which bing, 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 I don't know how to leverage yet. Um, I honestly am gonna stay away from leveraging because I don't wanna deal with debt and I just wanna chill out, you know? All right, so I'm gonna cut off the Twitter here. Without further ado, let us begin. So as I've said last time, Bitcoin did a little bouncy bounce, it's going back up. I said it's gonna hit roughly 65,681. Man, I wish these numbers were bigger or at least they were placed somewhere else, you know? Charts are important, but the numbers are also important. Somebody needs to make like a new chart, like a charting software where the UI is like beautiful. Like, you know what I mean? Like a, like a Google, you know, material AI, um, UI, which is like just superb. Anyways, so it's here now. And as you can see, you know, it's broken this one. So the next one is gonna break this one, which is the 61,279. And then I think the third one will come here and test this range, the 6,500. So just to put my fake money where my fake mouth is. <laughs> Hold on a second. I don't, yeah, let me just make a new. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy another 2.69 Bitcoin, giggity. Actually, you know what, let's make it, let's make it like this. Let's make 4.69, 420. Actually, no. One, hold on, let's make a fun number, 1.42069, there we go. Wait, I'm not allowed to buy that? 0 0.001, all right, fine. There we go, we just will have this one. I'll take profit when it hits roughly 61,321, or yeah, 362, sorry. 61,003. 63. So I'll make three grand if it, if it, yeah. And I'll take a stop loss if it goes anywhere below 51,982. I'll be my stop loss. So, you know, yeah, I'm not good with risk, at least with a fake account. So, you know, it's fine. This is paper trading. This ain't real, my friends. All right. So here we go. Ah, already losing money, fantastic. All right, so that'll be that. Uh, let's see. All right, I'm gonna take over the paper trading and uh, th those are all gone. So like I said, it'll come here, test this area, and then it, I'm, I'm going to say it's probably gonna come up. It'll come here and then given my Kage chart, it's gonna make the third shoulder somewhere around this range. Come back down once more, make a red like this one, and then poof, we go. So let me just check something real quick right here. So let's see, measurement. What was this red? So basically we're looking at a 25% move downwards, right? So whatever the new high is, we're gonna go down 25%, I think, or it's likely to, and then we're probably gonna go back up. Uh, that ride's gonna be fun, <laughs> cause you know, uh, that's probably gonna go into the nine, 90s. Like that one's gonna break through 70,000, probably 680,000 and then keep going up. I'll recalibrate once we're there. But for now, that's what I think that's gonna happen here. So now that I've said my piece about Bitcoin, let's go to Ethereum and look at Ethereum. Okay, so Ethereum, ah, Ethereum is also, it's broken this line here, right? It's broken this. So now it seems to be all the way up, yo. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, 
I think it'll test roughly the, it's gonna test this area before it comes down. I I don't know, I have, okay, the patterns are not clear. One, two, three, downturn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, downturn, I'm not sure. So I would like it to go down because then it's like, okay, well, it's down. Now I can get back in, but I don't know what to do here. I'm, I'm gonna have to look at the Fibonacci's. Again, still need to do that. <laughs> figure out how to deal with the Fibonacci's and then basically deal with it that way. Um, let's see here. Let's go with the Trollinger Bands. Ah, yeah, okay, Trollinger Bands, 1985, cool. All right, so I'm still unsure on this. I think, and I want, so I want to be very clear here, I want I want this to come back down again, mainly so I can enter. And so there's a pattern that I can use, but that pattern may be, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 shoulders and a dump. I don't know yet. So I need to figure out what that pattern is or figure out a way to deal with that. So that's Ethereum. And then let's go back to our favorite crypto of the year of the millennium, the greatest crypto to have ever existed. <sighs> Dogecoins, am I winning this? I'm not winning in this trade. <laughs> Jeez, I haven't lost too much money though. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm at point oh, no, point two three. So 0 0.23, I lost 23 cents, I mean, Am I gonna cry? Maybe. <laughs> so, you know, that's how it is, you know. And again, I'm paper trading, so none of this is real money. I, I'm i joking here, right? But it's good to paper trade for two reasons. One, you know, you realize you don't know a lot of things and then you figure it out and then it's easier for you to like do the real trading. And two, it's fun to show people that you're gonna, how you play with your money, right? You fun, it's fun to be like, hey, here's like 10 grand Here's what I'm doing with it, you know. Fake 10 grand. I wish I had real 10 grand, that'd be nice. All right, so that's that. Yeah, it's coming back up. The thing is, because of this massive dump, it's gonna take a long time to come back up here, you know. Oh yeah, that's not good. See, if this red is forming, it means it has a downward momentum and it might end up here in the four, um, yeah, what is this? 0 0.04728, yeah, that's not good. But once it comes down here, it's a done deal. So I'm gonna draw a line here, hmm, horizontal line. We're gonna color this line later. I'm gonna color this, I wanna color this like purple. My coloring is just, for fun, so yeah, this is not a good place to come down to. Oof, this is bad. And then let's see, what's the Kage? The Kage seems to be retreating, so maybe it'll, yeah. Maybe it does come down to 0 0.0473, but I don't know. Um, yeah, so what the pattern is, one, two, three shoulders, and then a dump. One, two, dump, and then probably another backtrack to the upward range. All right, so that's what I had for today. Thank you for joining me. You know, like, comment, subscribe. If you found this video at least somewhat helpful. Um, I am enjoying making these videos and I think I'm getting better every day. Have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.